5,000 sailors, one floating city, 12 hours minimum shifts that stretch to 18. The USS Theodore Roosevelt just completed a deployment with only 70% of its required flight deck crew. That means each remaining sailor worked 14-hour days in 90-degree heat for weeks without a single day off. Navy data shows surface fleet sailors average just five and a quarter hours of sleep per day when they're supposed to get seven and a half. Two-thirds of officers get five hours or less. Yet these floating fortresses never stop operating. How do they do it? The reality behind the steel walls. Aircraft carriers are more than warships. They're floating cities that never sleep. With up to 6,000 people working, eating, and living aboard for months at a time, these vessels operate around the clock in conditions most people can't imagine. The numbers tell a stark story. Recent Government Accountability Office reports reveal that Navy surface forces average only 5.25 hours of sleep daily. That's two hours less than what medical experts say they need. On the USS Theodore Roosevelt's recent deployment, flight deck operations ran with manning below 70%. This shortage forced the remaining crew into brutal schedules, 12 to 14 hour workdays in extreme heat and humidity, often for more than a week straight without rest. But here's what makes these sailors extraordinary. They don't just survive these conditions, they excel in them. They maintain some of the most complex machinery ever built while launching and recovering fighter jets in conditions that would challenge the most experienced professionals on land. If you're amazed by what our Navy achieves, type PROUD in the comments below. The Flight Deck Warriors The flight deck of an aircraft carrier is called one of the most dangerous workplaces on Earth, and for good reason. Imagine working inches away from jet engines that can suck a person in, under aircraft that weigh 40,000 pounds, with cables under extreme tension that could cut someone in half if they snap. Flight deck crews wear different colored jerseys, yellow for aircraft directors, purple for fuel handlers, brown for plane captains, green for maintenance, and blue for aircraft handling. Each color represents a specific job, and each person knows their role could mean the difference between life and death. These sailors work in temperatures that regularly exceed 90 degrees, with humidity that makes breathing difficult. Jet engines create noise levels that require constant hearing protection. The deck pitches and rolls with ocean swells while they guide $50 million aircraft into position for takeoff or landing. Aviation boatswain's mates are the backbone of flight operations. They're the ones running across the deck, hooking planes to catapults, and ensuring every landing is safe. During recent deployments, many worked continuous shifts because there simply weren't enough trained personnel to maintain normal rotations. The shortage isn't just about numbers, it's about experience. Training a flight deck crew member takes months of intensive schooling followed by years of on-the-job experience. You can't simulate the real environment in any classroom or training facility. The knowledge these sailors possess is irreplaceable, which makes their dedication even more remarkable. Sleep deprivation, the hidden enemy. Sleep deprivation has become what Navy officials call the service's black lung disease, a chronic condition that affects nearly everyone. Recent studies show that sailors getting four to six hours of sleep perform as poorly as people who haven't slept for two full days. The comparison gets even more alarming. Research proves that someone who's been awake for 24 hours has reaction times that are five times slower than someone under the influence of alcohol. Yet our sailors regularly work in conditions that would be considered impaired driving on land. A 2024 study found that 25% of sailors show symptoms of clinical insomnia. Those with sleep problems are nearly six times more likely to report negative mood symptoms, which affects not just individual performance, but entire crew dynamics. The cumulative effect is devastating. After 14 continuous days with six hours or less sleep, cognitive performance drops dramatically. Decision-making becomes impaired. Attention spans shrink. Reaction times slow dangerously, and the sailor often doesn't even realize how much their performance has declined. This isn't just about tiredness, it's about safety. The 2017 collisions of the USS Fitzgerald and USS John McCain, which tragically cost 17 American sailors their lives, were directly linked to crew fatigue and inadequate rest. These incidents prompted major policy changes, but the underlying challenges persist. 
Before we continue with how these incredible sailors overcome these challenges, here's a quick favor. If this content amazes you, hit that subscribe button. Most viewers watch without subscribing, but your subscription helps us share more stories about our military heroes. Did you subscribe? The Science of Survival. So how do aircraft carrier crews function under such extreme conditions? The answer lies in a combination of military discipline, innovative scheduling, and the unique bonds formed between crew members. The Navy has developed what they call Comprehensive Crew Endurance Management. This isn't just about getting more sleep, it's about maximizing the quality of rest when it's available. Sleep occurs in 90-minute cycles, with four to six cycles needed for full rest. Understanding this science helps crews plan their limited rest time more effectively. Watch rotations are carefully planned to work with natural body rhythms when possible. The goal is seven and a half hours of sleep, either as one continuous period or broken into six hours plus a 90-minute nap. While this ideal isn't always achievable, having the target helps commanders make better decisions about crew assignments. Nutrition plays a crucial role. Carrier galleys serve up to 18,000 meals daily with menus designed to provide sustained energy without causing drowsiness. Meal timing is coordinated with watch schedules to maximize alertness during critical periods. Physical fitness remains mandatory despite the challenging schedules. Exercise helps manage stress, improves sleep quality when rest is available, and maintains the physical stamina needed for demanding deck operations. Many sailors work out together, building team cohesion while staying in shape. The most important factor might be the culture of mutual support. Experienced sailors mentor newcomers, sharing techniques for managing fatigue. Crew members look out for each other, recognizing signs of dangerous exhaustion before accidents happen. This brotherhood creates a safety net that extends beyond official policies. Technology is also making a difference. Some ships now use fatigue monitoring systems that track crew rest patterns and alert commanders when someone might be too tired for critical duties. While not yet fleet-wide, these systems show promise for future operations. Manning shortages, the core challenge. The elephant in the room is manning. Aircraft carriers are designed to operate with specific crew sizes, but most deploy significantly under strength. The USS Theodore Roosevelt operated with just 70% of its Air Department personnel during its recent deployment. Similar shortages exist across the fleet. Why the shortage? Several factors contribute. The commercial airline industry aggressively recruits military pilots and technical personnel with higher salaries and better schedules. Military deployments can last six to nine months, putting strain on families. The physical demands of carrier operations lead some sailors to seek less demanding assignments. Training new personnel takes time the Navy often doesn't have. A flight deck crew member needs months of training followed by years of experience to become fully qualified. During this learning period, experienced sailors must carry extra workload, creating a cycle where the most skilled personnel face the heaviest burdens. The Navy has responded with several initiatives. Hazardous duty pay for flight deck personnel was recently increased. Retention bonuses help keep experienced sailors in critical positions. Advanced training programs attempt to reduce the time needed to become fully qualified. Recruitment efforts target specific skills needed for carrier operations. The Professional Apprenticeship Career Track Program provides pathways for new sailors to enter aviation specialties directly. Cross-training programs help create more flexible crew assignments. But solutions take time to implement, and operational demands continue. Carriers must maintain their mission readiness regardless of manning levels. This reality forces creative solutions and exceptional performance from existing crews. The bigger picture, why it matters. Aircraft carriers represent America's ability to project power anywhere in the world. These floating airfields can position combat aircraft within striking distance of any coastal target, providing options for national leaders that no other weapon system can match. Currently, the U.S. Navy operates 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, more than the rest of the world combined. Each carrier leads a strike group that includes destroyers, cruisers, and submarines, creating a mobile force capable of influencing events across entire regions. Recent deployments highlight this capability. Two carrier strike groups recently operated in the Middle East simultaneously while maintaining presence in the Pacific and Atlantic. This global reach requires crews capable of sustained operations under challenging conditions. The sailors who make this possible deserve our highest respect. They volunteer to serve in conditions that test human endurance limits. They work with dangerous equipment in hostile environments, 
often while separated from families for months at a time. Their dedication ensures American naval supremacy continues. Innovation continues improving their working conditions. The newer Gerald R. Ford-class carriers feature advanced automation that reduces crew requirements by about 700 sailors compared to older designs. Improved weapons handling systems reduce physical demands. Better living quarters provide more comfortable rest spaces. Training improvements help new sailors reach proficiency faster. Virtual reality systems now supplement hands-on training, allowing crew members to practice procedures safely. Enhanced simulation capabilities provide realistic experience without the risks of actual flight operations. Medical support has also improved. Carriers now have better equipped medical facilities with specialists trained in occupational health. Stress management programs help sailors cope with deployment pressures. Mental health resources address the psychological challenges of extended operations. Conclusion The men and women serving aboard America's aircraft carriers represent the best of military service. They face challenges that would overwhelm most people, yet they perform with precision and professionalism that ensures our national security. Their 18-hour workdays aren't sustainable long-term, and the Navy continues working to improve conditions. But until manning levels increase and operational demands decrease, these dedicated sailors will continue exceeding what anyone thought possible. Every time you see news of American naval operations around the world, remember the human cost. Thousands of sailors working extreme schedules, missing family events, pushing their bodies and minds to the limit, all to maintain the security we often take for granted. These stories matter because they remind us that freedom isn't free. The comfortable lives we lead at home depend on the sacrifices made by volunteers who choose service over personal comfort. Next time you see a Navy uniform, take a moment to say thank you. These sailors have earned our respect, our support, and our gratitude. If these stories of American military excellence inspire you, please like this video and subscribe for more content about our nation's heroes. Your support helps us continue sharing these important stories.